Hi friends, it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this tropical bird mask design. Um, so I started off by loading a quartered high density sponge with light green by Paradise and I covered the entire lid and the eyebrow and above the lid a little place. Um, with this design you could use any colors that you like, just um, three colors that look nice together, match with the child's eyes or clothes or their favorite colors. Okay, so I've loaded um, the second side of this sponge with tag pearl teal and I've covered the outer half of the eyelid and above blending into the top part of the green and above above that even more a little ways so that the eyelid has a gradient from green to blue and then I'm adding color along the side of the eye, out toward the hairline, and a diagonal down below the eye. And now I've got the third side of this triangle um, with some light pink by Diamond Effects, and I'm covering over the blue area under the eye a little ways, and, and just a touch above that. So you can play around with fun ways to, to layer color. Here I have a tag peacock split cake and a number eight filbert brush. And I swirled that in a circular uh, motion to create uh, the head of the bird there and then pulled down the color from the sides to a point between the eyes um, for the neck of the bird. Now I, I'm taking a Q-tip just to create a little notch there. Now I'm loading that same number eight filbert with white and I place the brush and then as I turn the brush it creates that sharp edge um, starting with very large wings up on the top and then coming around the side of the eye smaller smaller and then those really small ones under the eye are um, made by holding the brush on its edge on its edge you create those fine little teardrops. Special thanks to my model. Okay now I've got a number four round brush loaded with um, diamond effects yellow and I'm just creating a little beak and that same brush with white to um, bringing small teardrops in toward the center of the bird's forehead and outlining around the neck. I decided to add a few more teardrops. So I've got a larger one in the center and then going smaller over to the side and a little light pink for the cheek and a black C curve with tiny little lashes for a happy little bird eye. And I've got that number four round with black just outlining here and there um, around the bird. Number four round with white for some curls and swirls, three on each side. And then I'm using the Star Blends Red for some blush for the cheeks. Little goes a long way with that stuff. Here a Q-tip with um, Pearl Rose by Diamond Effects. Now, this is the point where you could stop um, if you have a long line or a lot of kids to deal with. Um, but if you had a little more time or there weren't kids waiting in line, you can go ahead and outline the beak in white. And then I added a second layer of smaller teardrops between the larger ones going all the way around the design. Just uh, to add another layer of dimension. I'm bringing those teardrops even closer in toward the center of the eye. And then again, this is something you could do if you had a little more time. I've loaded um, the, the two greens from the Fleur Cake by uh, 
Paradise, light and dark green. And I'm just pulling that from the inner corner of the eye, blending it up. And pulling down to the center of the nose at a point. This could be done before uh, the wings or after, it just depends if you have more time. And here is a 1 8 inch flat brush. It's a new brush that I'm playing around with um, to line the eye. And then bringing the color down along the bottom ridge of that um, point. Now I've got the number four round with white, just a very, very fine line to outline the, the point as well. Glitter time. Here's iridescent glitter on the white areas. And a nice dark green glitter on the green areas. And a trick too is um, if you're working on a design for a few minutes and it's completely dry and the glitter doesn't want to stick, I'll take a, a mister bottle atomizer and just from about a, a foot away, lightly, lightly mist the entire design and then the glitter will stick nice. So here we have adhesive jewels. They're round diamonds. Um, I find that the white pearls and diamonds look good on the white paint. And so got five of them on there and there it is. Tropical bird mask design. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys were inspired. Happy painting.